Nicotine replacement is a very important part of smoking cessation. There are lots of ways to replace nicotine, right? You've got oh, pouches there. I've got my toothpick here. We've got patches, gum, all sorts of ways to go about doing it. Each of them has their pluses and minuses. I did a whole podcast on this. The bottom line is nicotine replacement, very powerful tool because nicotine, if derived from a clean source, like a synthetic nicotine, doesn't carry any of these cancer risks. At least we can be very confident that that's true. Certainly not from a lung cancer perspective. There may be other risks, so we should be mindful about how much nicotine we do consume. Is there any way to, to clean up your arteries there is. if you are a smoker? Well, when it comes to smoking, we know that after a certain number of years, depending on how long of a smoker you were, your risk of heart disease and cancer will return to baseline. Now, again, you might not get there because depending on how long you smoked, it could be 30 years before you return to baseline. So if you're a 50-year-old who's quitting smoking and you've been a pack-a-day smoker for 40 years or say 30 years, you might not make it to 